Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is a different video because we are going extreme. I feel sometimes we get a little bit stuck in a rut with the work that we produce and you know we can't force clients to have things that they're not comfortable with having and so for ages I've been dying to try some more extreme shapes, some more extreme designs and the way my channel has been going lately the views haven't been hitting as much as I'd like them to. Um, so I just thought why not try and switch it up and just put a little bit more effort into showing something different and so here we are. So <clears throat> please excuse the state of my nails, I have recently taken them off and then polished them and then picked the polish because I'm just <laughs> really really naughty. Um, but basically I've gone ahead on this training hand and this is from Red Iguana. Um, it's their poseable hand so you can actually move the fingers around and pose them and I just thought this was the better hand to go with because I think the, the fingers are more slender um, and I wanted to go for a super long, super intense stiletto nail. So I've already sculpted out the tip and I sculpted out the French nail bed but I will show that on the next finger. I've then come in with CJP Ultraviolet and I've just done a really thin layer along the whole nail of that, like a wash of colour. And then coming in with some flakes from Tones and it is their special effects um, acrylic powder. It's like flakes mixed in with acrylic, you know, like chameleon flakes. So blue ones and purple ones. And I'm also coming in with crushed up Pore Shell. Um, the pore shell I bought years and years and years ago after I saw um, Princess Shan use them on a set of nails and they were like iconic for me um, and then I went and bought some and I did do some pore shell nails uh, you know like I say I've had these shells for like probably about eight years and that's not even an exaggeration the pot was huge so I'm just placing some of them on the nail and then I'm coming in with some iridescent glitter and then I'm also going to be using some of the Glitter Fairies Fire Opal Pigment Flakes. Are they called Pigment Flakes? Yeah, they're Fire Opal uh, Flakes and they are just to die for. They give off like, like exactly what they say, like a fiery opaly look on the nail which really just brought this whole design together. So there you can see me adding the flakes which give that really fiery look. I love them so much. And then just coming in with some multi-cut hollow blue from the Glitter Fairy as well. Just to bring a little bit more of a lighter blue shade in there. And then I'm going to cap these nails. <clears throat> so I'm using my beads quite wet and smaller so that one I can avoid air bubbles and two so I can get everything encapsulated nicely without there being any sort of gaps and that's when the design really does come to life you can see the flakes shining through and the shell just looks absolutely stunning so I'm just going to cap this whole entire nail making sure that the apex is really strong especially if you were doing this on a client because the nails are so so long they need so much support so make sure you have that really nice high strong structure otherwise it will be like quite painful to wear these nails if you haven't got that structure correct. So moving on, I'm going to show you how I sculpt onto the red iguana hand. So I've basically just applied some sellotape around the finger where the nail form is going to sit. And then just going to tuck that under that free edge. There was a little bit of plastic tip there gone underneath, as you can see. So I just removed that so that um, that form would then fit nice and snug. You want to try and tilt your form upwards slightly, especially when doing such extreme shapes, just so that your apex is always in line with the free edge of the nail. Um, and then I'm literally just going to sculpt out a clear 
base, like the tip basically, onto the nail. I've already pinched the form really, really like nicely so that I don't have to actually pinch the nail. So that's a good tip for you. And these forms allow you to do that so beautifully. I'm also using the Glitter Planet Size 10 Nail Mate brush. And if you want to go ahead and purchase any of their items, you can use my code Liz10 for 10% off your order. So yeah, I'm just going to bring that right down to the nail. And then we're going to go ahead, and Pop is not happy, her video has stopped. And then we're going to go ahead and make the nail bed. So I'm taking a CJP birthday suit, placing it roughly around the same area, really extending it really nicely all the way, like, because these nails are so long, I want, I don't want it to look, like, morphed. <laughs> is that a word? Morphed? I don't even know if that's a word, but you know what I mean. I need it to look, you know, like nail to nail bed so I'm making them quite long measuring up to the other nail that I've already done so that they match and then I'm going to go in with the cuticle bead and just blend that into the previous bead I'll then leave that to set so we can file it nice and crisp and whilst I do that I'll move on to like the pinky but I didn't record that because I didn't want this video to end up really long and boring and just taken away from the design. So basically on this middle finger I am just doing exactly the same as what I did on the index finger that I showed you already. So I have sped it up and I have kind of cut and chopped here and there just because I don't want it I don't want such a beautiful set to become boring to watch. I just loved how this design came together and I was really very proud of myself. Um, and that may sound big headed, but it, it's just when you do the same thing over and over again, when clients come in and you have like ombre marble and it's the same kind of things day in, day out, it becomes repetitive and it, com it becomes like a chore, you, you forget why you did nails in the first place, which is why I really love sometimes just sitting down and just completely going wild for something that not pe people wouldn't come in and sit down and go, oh, this is what I want on my nails. So I was really proud of myself for pushing myself and doing something that I wouldn't usually do. And I hope you really enjoy watching this video too. So again, I've come in with them shells and then I'm coming in with like the opal fire flakes, just dotting them around with the tip of my brush. I don't want to overdo it either. I don't want it to just look like one big massive jumbled mess on the nail. And then I will go ahead and cap that nail. But I did that off film again because I already showed you that on the index finger. So moving on now to the ring finger and I'm just placed a small bead of acrylic. And then I'm placing one of the larger pour pieces onto the nail. And then I'm just placing a couple more bits onto that free edge. And then I'm just going to literally keep it more glassy and just dot some of the iridescent glitter around and then I'll come in with the flakes and some of the blue around the nail as well but I wanted it to be different but not over the top but I did want to include some of those larger pieces that just look absolutely beautiful I purchased mine off eBay um, all those years ago I don't know whether they still have them if I can find a link I will leave the link in the description box but if not you just need to search Paua Shal and it's spelled P-A-U-A -A, I think um, but again I'll just leave that in the description box if you want to know as well as all the links to everything else I've used and again, when capping this nail, you want to make sure it's nice and wet so it's really getting in behind that shell. But try not to over bulk it too much because you still want the nail to remain slender, which I do show you as a side view after I've filed it to show that you can have those larger pieces as long as you place them, you know, correctly on a nail, like say in the centre where you're going to have an apex so it's going to naturally be thicker. Um, you can get away with encapsulating those larger pieces of things or embellishments or whatever you want to call them so yes I'm just gonna fully cap that nail those pieces are so stunning oh they're so beautiful so as you can see just using it a bit wetter okay. more stroking it i'm not trying to pat it too much because i don't want to make any bubbles in there i want this to be as crystal glass as crystal glass is capable of being and 
if you don't know by now you probably should know <laughs> that crystal glass is just the clarity is beyond amazing so that's all nice and fully encapsulated there and you can see it's not really bulky and then i'm going to show you how i would file these nails so i'm taking my new favorite bit and it is the flame i want to say it's either a flame or a cone um, but it's from nail dot supplies as always and this one is the super fine one because i didn't want to take off you know there was no need for me to use a coarse bit because i kept my work nice and neat so i'm just going around refining that with there removing any bulk and debulking the cuticle area and then i'm going to come in with a 100 180 grit hand file from tmbl and then i'm going to do the side walls if you were doing this on a client as well you really really want to support the nails because these are so long um, and I'm just showing you here, if you have your fly, file <laughs> flat from the free edge upwards, you could see that upper arch is really nice and high and strong. And then when I'm happy with that, we'll buff over the nail and we can clean away all the dust. With these hands, because the dust sticks ones like mad, I just go and take it into the sink and wash them thoroughly. And then I'm going to use CJP Tack Free Top Gloss and just top coat all of these nails. And that is when you can just see the beauty of these come through like I can't stop looking at them I don't want to take them off the hand <laughs> I can see this hand just being stuck forever with these nails on they're just so beautiful too beautiful to file off I think yet I probably will but just not yet so then I'll cure these in the lamp for 60 seconds and on the glass nail I do top coat underneath as well just because I find you get that more like clearer clarity it just makes sure you really clean under the nails really well before you apply any sort of top coat. And you can see the thickness there is not too thick at all. It is just right for the nail. And then cure these in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I will just apply a little bit of cuticle oil to make Andrea look nice and fresh <laughs> and nourished. And then there are some clips at the end to show you the nails complete. If you did give this, if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. If you like this video and you want to see more extreme shapes, let me know. And if, you know, just hit that notification bell and just let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you all again in my next one. Bye.